Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the unique identifiers for panel data. So when we are working with the panel data, we sometimes need to identify which variable does uniquely identifies the data. So that is what we are going to do in this video. So let's import this data. This is NLS work data, and we're going to import that from a so we have over here a, a panel data. Uh, let me just show you the data. We have uh, ID for different individuals. So this is individual one, this is individual two, and so on and so forth. We have different years of their data, their birth, age, uh, race, and then we have uh, the number of hour, hours they have worked and their log wage. So we are not interested in all these variables. What we are interested in is how do we uniquely identify uh, observation. So if this is the line, uh, let's just say if we wanted to do XT set, right? So this XT set command is used uh, to tell Stata that the data we have is a, a panel data. So if we do, let's just say ID code, right? Uh, if we just tell that these ID, ID code uniquely identifies observations, uh, then it would do, but uh, I mean, it isn't the correct way. So we need, what we need is uh, a method to identify which variables uniquely identifies the data. So let's just say if you wanted to know whether ID code uniquely identifies observations or not, although we did X to set and did that did got executed, but we know it is a panel data and that is a wrong command that we did over here. Uh, so does ID code uniquely identifies uh, these observations or not, what we do is we use this is id command and what it does is it checks whether this id code uh, uniquely identifies the data or not. So it would just give us a an error or nothing. So error would mean that it does not uniquely identifies the uh, the observation. So variable id code does not uniquely identify identify the observations. What about the year? Uh, it also does not uniquely identify the observations. Uh, so uh, we know it is a panel data, so that would be a combination of ID code and year in this specific case, but in some cases you might have some difficulties. So we know that if we do is ID code, uh, then uh, the cross-section variable and the year variable, it should turn out uh, good. So, so it didn't give us any error and uh, no news is a good news in the case of is ID. And so that means that ID code year uniquely identifies the data. So now we can do XT set ID code and year. But uh, let's do one, one more thing. Uh, let's say sometimes uh, I have seen people getting confused with this. And let's just say if we have this observations and this last observation, let me just copy this, uh, control C. And then let me paste this with control V. So these two observations are exactly same. Now, there is a duplication in the data, right? And when we do XT set ID code and year, it gives us an error which says repeated time values within panel. What it's saying is that this panel uh, data, this cross sections should have one year 88, right? So this, this person 5159 have two values for 88. So that is a repetition in the time variable. If you do is ID code, that would still give you an error because is ID code is not going to tell you that there is a duplication in the data. So normally when there is a duplication, you are going to get this error and this error. So is ID code would not solve that issue. What you need to do is you need to do duplicates list and then give the name of both those variables that uniquely identifies the observations. And you are going to know that there is this observation at line 28, 538, which is this one, uh, and 534, 535, where we have ID code and the year is exactly same. So we can get an idea that that is a repetition. So, or we can simply do duplicates, drop ID code, and year, but we have to use this force option and that would drop one. Uh, but 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 before dropping that, it is a good idea to know that why there is a repetition. So sometimes you might have done some issues with uh, while importing the data. So a better idea is to look into the data and see why there is an issue. 
So I hope that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe the channel and do hit the bell icon.